So you guys are gonna have to excuse me in this video because I haven't made a video since January. So I've probably forgotten how to speak. So we're gonna struggle through this. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, long time no talk. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have been gone and missing in action. Um, if you don't follow me on other social media, which will all be linked here, you might not know, but in January, well, yeah, late December, I found out I was pregnant. Um, it was a surprise. It wasn't a surprise. And I know that sounds crazy. People are like, how is that even possible? You know where babies come from, you're 34. <laughs> um, but I, I was not preventing a pregnancy. I just expected it to take longer than it did to get pregnant, um, which I'm you know, grateful that it ended up not being a struggle for me. It just you know, happened quickly, like in a month. And I was pregnant. Where I had come to a state where I was ready to start trying to have a baby, I wasn't actually fully ready to be pregnant <laughs> and for a baby to be coming. Um, which I guess we should have done all of that in one go before <laughs> I started trying. Um, so it did take me several months to, you know, reprioritize, move things around in my brain. Um, so I took a hiatus definitely from um, YouTube, but also from reselling. Um, for a couple months there, I was still kind of having my closet open, but not really sharing or um, posting new items. So I would just get the occasional sale. Um, but even that became too much. So I put on my, my closet on, whole, on vacation mode for like two weeks and shut down my entire eBay. But I have finally come to a place where I feel more zen about pregnancy. Um, I'm sorry, like um, more zen about pregnancy. So I have opened up my Poshmark closet. I am holding off on eBay right now, just so I can focus on Poshmark. Um, and yeah, so I am back reselling and I hope to be back on YouTube. It'll most likely just be once a week with your occasional extra video if I am able to. And of course, you know, when baby comes, you probably will take another hiatus because you know, there'll be a baby <laughs> that will need a lot of my attention. This is actually a cup from my sex reveal party. It says here for the sex. I am having a girl. If you don't follow me, like I said, on Instagram, you should. Here's my handle. Um, but I am having a little girl. She's due early September. We're very excited. My um, Seishu, my husband, is very excited. He was dreaming of a little girl. I did want a boy just because, I don't know. I've always pictured myself a boy mom but I am happy to have a little girl as well, especially since they have cuter, st cuter stuff to purchase. <laughs> but, um, and it's so funny. People are like, oh, it's funny that you got a girl. Haha, <laughs> are you gonna struggle? And I'm like, no, it's not about girl babies or girl toddlers. I'm worried about girl teenagers because I was one <laughs> and, and I'm around them. And I'm just like, this is a beautiful time of little girls, which I would prefer little girls, but 10 to 20, it's a rough age. Really 10 to 30 is <laughs> a rough age for girls, but at least they're not so um, rough on their mommies by the time they're in their 20s usually. Anyway, I digress. So I start, thought I would start back for this video with a good old fashioned haul. Um, I did not need to go thrifting because I have a ridiculous amount of stuff to list. I mean, so ridiculous. I could probably start six closets and have a hefty inventory. <laughs> Um, it's, 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 yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> um, to list, but it's okay because I wanted, I even, I, even though I had so much to list, I did go thrifting because, you know, it's, it just, it makes you, it's the hunt. It's the, one of the most fun parts for me. So I had to get back in the spirit of things, get the rush of resale. So I allowed myself to go one time to each of the places I normally um, go to, which I think ended up being, I went to like five out of six. Um, and I got 37 items, I believe in this haul. I'm going to show you all of them and, you know, try to give you a guesstimate of how much I want. Um, I will say these days, you know, comps are one thing that I definitely don't want to 
not sell things um, based on what um, they're worth. But at the same time, I don't want to be storing so much stuff. Um, and so it really just depends for me. Comps are just so all over the place in my mindset. Like I might start off with something and that's what a comp is. But if I've had it for four months, I might just be happy with just doubling or tripling my money instead of getting this high dollar price tag. It's a lot of factors. It's really just depends on what the item is, what season it is, how long I've had it. I'm just tired of looking at it. There's a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to see though specifically what I listed the items for, you can go to my Poshmark closet, which is Miss A Web. Um, it will be linked out in my bio. Okay, so 37 items. I spent $141, which is roughly, I think, around $4, like $3.94 a piece. I'm looking down at my paper. Um, so pretty happy because um, at the end, I'll tell you the total of what I think I can make. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. I have like the pile already sitting here because, you know, I can't really bend down <laughs> and get things. It's a struggle, guys. If I get out of breath too, that's like my biggest thing is I just lose my breath. Like coming up these stairs is awful. <laughs> it's just, I feel like I ran a marathon <laughs> when I'm talking too much. Um, you'll also notice that, I mean, I filmed here before, but I normally film in my um, room that I photograph in, but I sat on the floor and that's just too much. <laughs> So we're sitting in this chair. Um, okay, let me start. I don't even know what to pick. What am I picking? Oh, I will start with something really exciting. Okay, so this is a brand that so many people find all the time. And I thought it was so ridiculous that I have never found it. And I finally found it. Even though it's not your classic one, I did find it. And it is Dr. Martin. So Doc Martens. And I found these men's boots. Um, I think I have the actual name of them, too. Are they on here? No. Oh, there's a receipt in it. <laughs> um, I've never found Doc Martens before, which is crazy to me because I live in a town. I live in Savannah, Georgia. And if you don't know, we have like an art school here, like a pretty, you know, well-known one. It's called SCAD or Savannah School of Art Design. So you expect those kids to be uh, wearing a lot of Doc Martens. <laughs> Uh, you know, the art students, film students, writers, um, jewelry designers, but I guess they don't donate their stuff or they're the ones that go to thr um, Goodwill and get all of them. But anyway, I finally found a pair. They are a men's, just brown leather. They're not your classic, like, black Daria looking Doc Martens, but I'm very happy to have found these. And I think I get, what did I write down? Oh yeah, 50 to 60 for these. Oh, these are the Glen boot. That's what they are. Okay. Okay, so I did get all these items like in the last couple of months. I think I started thrifting again after, because there was a period of time I wasn't feeling well from the pregnancy. Um, look at these are what, from February to now, which we're in May now. No, none of this is listed <laughs> because I have other stuff to list. But anyway, doesn't matter. I want to go. <laughs> um, next is just this very thick, um, button down. It is a vintage um, Tommy Hilfiger or in this case, oh, sorry, I can't even see it, Tommy Jeans. I do like to pick up vintage Tommy Hilfiger um, because it does well for me and I like picking up vintage items. Um, this is an extra large and I think I can get 25 to 35 for this most likely. I say I'm not a vintage reseller because I just don't feel like I'm as knowledgeable as some of the other vintage resellers out there that you can follow. But I, you know, looked at my sales and the, my number one brand is vintage. <laughs> so I do sell a lot of vintage. Um, and my criteria for <laughs> vintage is pretty much I just like it. Um, <laughs> so again, that's why I say I'm not a... I'm not a vintage reseller. Don't follow me to learn about vintage reselling, but I do pick up vintage when I like it. Okay, next is this Corey Lynn Coulter dress. Um, this is an anthropology, or sold in anthropology, and it's just kind of a floral with a polka dot uh, little bottom here. Um, I'm usually more selective on anthropology, um, but. I do pick up Cori Lynn Cal um, Coulter. I think at the time, I might have been confused. I really, the brand I really like from Anthropology is CP Shades. 
I think in my brain at the time I was like, oh, CP shade, but this is not, that's not it. <laughs> um, and this is strapless, so it might be a little harder to sell, but I still picked it up. I still think I can sell it. So I'm not really sure um, what I can get for that dress. I think I said, did I say it's size four? Um, and they just, be, but I think comps are around 40 to 50, but we'll see what I got here. Okay, here, uh, speaking of anthropology, we have another anthropology piece, and this is Maeve, um, size large. Uh, I mostly picked this up because it's a size large. <laughs> so I always, you know, if as long as it's a more substantial and not just like a plain blouse, if it's a size large and up in decent condition in anthropology, I'll probably still pick it up as long as it's like a, a newer brand. Um, so yeah, but I probably won't get that much for that. I don't know what I wrote down, but I'm thinking in my head 25 to 35. A lot of anthropology these days is gonna be 25 to 35. Ooh, what this? Okay, so I got this J. Crew piece. I do pick up J. Crew typically only newer items or unless they're just something really cool. This is probably a holiday piece just based on it. It has these little um, jewels here down the side little plaid print. It is a size six. It is the cursive writing, so it should be newer. Um, yes, holiday 2018. So that will be going up. Again, 25 to 35. A lot of these items are 25 to 35, I think. Um, what is this? Oh, I think this was a bad pickup, but I do still think I can sell it. The brand is like Naf, Naf, N-A-F, N-A-F. Um, and I think it's sometimes sold on Revolve, but it's just like a little black jacket. Um, you know, it's just, it was just not worth returning, so I still think I could sell it. Um, and I, but I only put down that I can make about 15 to 25 on it, so it's probably my lesser pickup. All right, we have another vintage piece. Ooh. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. It is a vintage cape. This is a cape, right? Yep, the cape. Ooh, it's got that uh, 1950s perfume smell. <laughs> I don't know what era it is. It could be 70s or 80s. Um, it is a luxury deep pile fabric by Glenoit. Do not steam or press dry clean for pile fabric method made in USA. I do like that under the um, interior here. So it is a cape. It's in pr really pretty good condition considering the age. Um, you know, I just picked it up. I liked it. Um, so that isn't fur, by the way. Although I have picked up fur. Don't hate if it's vintage fur. Um, and based on comps on that I researched the 40 to 50 for that, I might have it for a while though. Okay, moving on with vintage. <laughs> Um, this is probably from the 80s or 90s. It's just a button down, um, but I got it because of the print. The print is like a tea set kind of going on. And these like cool printed little um, shirts, I usually get 25 to 35 for it. It's also a size 1X. It was made in Mexico. What's the fabric? Is it rayon? It feels like rayon. And it is 100% rayon. Good call. Um, <laughs> So I got it because of the print. I think it's cute. And all right, where's the other Doc Martin boot? Oh, which did I not say the size on these? What are the size? Oh, here they are. Doc Martin's men's 11. So there you go. Oh, this is my favorite vintage piece I think that I, I picked up. Um, it is, this is bubblegum pink um, romper. Like, I mean, I had to get this. Like it's pink. This is so Jim and the Holograms to me from the 80s or probably some country singer from the 80s. Can't even tell you which one. Um, so it's pink denim with these rhinestones I'm buttoning it. And then it has like these more substantial buttons. I picked it up. I liked it. Does it have a size on it? I'm going to be a little angry at myself. There's not a size. Although I do supply measurements for vintage pieces. That is a, a something I have changed up in my business. I don't put measurements unless it's a vintage piece or, you know, there's not a size because, you know, because I don't want to and it takes a lot of time. And if I really think a buyer, if a buyer's really interested, they'll ask. 
Um, generally though, people buy things without looking at the measurements. I do, unless it's vintage, I don't look at the measurements. I just look at the size, but it's not really affected my business since I've done that. And I think a lot of other resellers do that as well, such as the Nicole um, State. I do not think she puts measurements. I don't think um, Mogi Beth puts measurements. It's just like, it takes too much time, honestly and I decided not to do it. And I've been doing okay with it. It hasn't really affected my sales. Not that I can tell, you know, I just started back, but <laughs> it's not really been a problem. Okay, next is this Rails piece. So Rails isn't as good as it once was, but you know, who can't pick up this like cozy little button down plaid? It's very soft. It is a size medium, but I will probably get 25 to 35 for that as well with this. Oh. I found a vintage Dooney and Burke. Um, you may not know this about me, but I love vintage Dooney Burke. This is not really the style that I love, but I think I have like 20 in my own personal collection. Yeah, <laughs> but this is authentic. It has the, Dooney, this is really how you tell, the Dooney and Burke tag plus the serial number here on the bottom. They can say a variety of things. They can say made in Mexico, made in US. I think there might be another made in somewhere, but this is definitely authentic Dooney. Um, and I think I can get like 35 for this. Is that what I put down? Where did I put it? Oh, the romper, by the way, I said I could get 35, 45 for. And, or that's what I'm hoping to get. And this is, yeah, 30 to 35. Just because you're usually for Dooney, um, the better thing to get is, you know, the all weather leather purses. I will say if I find those, I normally keep them. <laughs> so there's that. All right, next is this cowboy hat. It is a straw cowboy hat made by Bullhide. Um, it's an extra large. And, you know, I just picked it up. I picked it up really because I liked the like um, steer horn uh, medallion on it. And it's an extra large, so I will be selling this. I don't think I can get a ton for it, but I think it was a dollar, so I picked it up. I do think I can get like 25 to 30 for that. Okay, what's this? Okay, this is Logo by Lori Goldstein. She sells this on Key QVC or Lori Goldstein. I don't really know how she pronounce it. She's on sharks, but I don't watch that. Or Shark Tank. Um, so this is a US small, and normally I do pick up only like larger sizes in this um, logo, but it was really cute with the floral print and a little ruffle here on the bottom. So I did pick this up, even though it is a smaller size. It has little ruffled sleeves, but usually in her like more loungy stuff, it's pretty plain. I only pick up plus sizes. I don't ever like to tell anyone that I don't pick up this brand or I don't pick up the size because I would say 99% of, I would say 99% of the time, um, there's an exception to that. <laughs> um, I can say I don't pick up Club Monaco because it doesn't sell that well for me, which it doesn't sell that well for me. But then I'm just looking right now at a Club Monaco piece that I picked up not that long ago because it's 100% silk and floral and gorgeous. So. You know, it really just depends on the piece, it depends on the size, it depends on new condition, and it depends on the mood at the time. So, you know, I'm just never gonna say never. Okay. So, next up is a pair of Chico's pants. Again, I don't normally pick up Chico's, but it is new with tags. It is a size three, which is Chico's sizing. It's definitely not a three. Um, don't remember what the three is in Chico sizing though, but I did pick it up new with tag and because I think it, that might be at least a large, if not a larger size than that. I do like to pick up a lot of different brands that are new with tags, especially if they are in plus sizes. I just, plus sizes do really well for me. Okay, next is probably another bad buy. I mean, I'm gonna make my money back, probably double it, but you know, it's something I didn't really need to pick up. It is H&M, it's a collab. I don't normally pick up H&M regularly, but the collab pieces, I didn't look this one up um, at the store because it was new with tags, it was a collab. Sometimes they do really well. This is with Richard Allen. These pieces aren't doing that well, but I did like the little houndstooth print 
and I probably can get 15 to 20. I think this was a dollar or so. You know, I'll make my money back. Oh, let's see. Next is something, if you've watched me for a while, you know I rarely get, and that is jeans. I'm just not a jeans person. I hate jeans, like I don't wear them. And now that I've hit 30, I work from home, and I'm gonna have a kid, I don't believe I will ever wear them again. <laughs> because I've just always hated them. I don't think they're comfortable. So I don't go through them because I don't like them. And they don't actually sell well for me. Maybe the community can sense I hate them. <laughs> So, um, but I did find these one day. I think they were on a new rack because it's generally the only time I ever pick up jeans. Um, but they are rag and bone, 28, size 28. Um, and they are just a, a skinny jean in the color coal. I mean, they're black. <laughs> they're black skinny jean. I know skinny jeans are supposedly um, out, but rag and bone, I'll still pick up. I think I could get 40 to 50 maybe for those. Do. Okay. Next is a Lily Pulitzer piece. I am pretty picky on my Lily Pulitzer pieces, um, but this is 100% linen, so that had it going. It had that going for it, just like a navy blue. Um, it is a size small, so I picked it up. But again, probably only 25, 35 for this. Um, if that had been just like a T-shirt, I probably would not have picked it up. All right, next is another vintage piece. I do pick up a lot of vintage, I will say, because I don't know. Also, when I have a lot of things to list, my criteria when I go to a uh, thrifting is usually like, this is gonna get me a really good profit or it's vintage and I'm like, if I won't find it again, likely. So <laughs> that's why I end up getting a lot of vintage. <laughs> But it's just this ski jacket. Pretty sure it's a child's, but I could list ch child children's size, but I could list it as a woman's because they had them listed as both and Poshmark. This is a yeah, it's a junior size medium, and it's Edelweiss, which I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. But I'm just really going off sound of music. <sighs> Definitely very AP style. Um, Saved by the Bell kind of looking for me, <laughs> but. I liked it, so I picked it up. It's a little ski jacket. What did I put? And um, likely I could get about 35 to 45 for that. Okay. What to you? Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, soft surroundings. So this is soft surroundings. It is a size medium. Again, I normally pick up soft surroundings only if it's in larger sizes but this is a jumpsuit, a very comfy feeling jumpsuit. So it's like basically really nice loungewear. So I picked that up, it's just in this gray material. I think probably get 30 to 40 for this, which I'm assuming is what I wrote down. I, I wrote 30 to 35, so yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh, this was a good vintage piece. Um, there are a pair of shorts, I need to list these soon. Um, and they have this lovely, you know, sunflower print on them. I kind of love them. <laughs> the brand is not guilty. Jeans for the lit life you lead. Um, I'm a little curious on the sizing because it says it's a size 24. So I'm assuming like size 24, not waist size 24 because there's no way this is 24 because I'm pretty sure I could wear it. Um, but it's 100% cotton assembled in Mexico and has a style number on here, but still, Abby, I think these will do well and I need to list them very quickly or wear them very quickly if I can. Um, I think I put 25, 35 for those. Yeah, I put 30, 35 for those shorts. Okay, next, where are we doing this? Okay, next is this brand, um, Central Park West. This is a size large. Um, I believe it's sold Sometimes on Revolve, I could be making that up. It's sold somewhere, like maybe Revolve or maybe Anthropology. I'm pretty sure it's Revolve. Um, I picked it up because it is a size large and it's 100% silk. And I don't know, I just, I, I liked it. <laughs> um, looks really comfortable and nice and it's 100% silk. So I definitely will make my money back. I might only make 25 or 35. I can't remember what I put. Some of the, the comps are kind of all over the place. 
it really depended on the piece and I think whether or not you had a nice stock photo, <laughs> but we will see. It's kind of funny. Every time I look at this, I keep thinking these are like greyhounds. They are not. I don't know why I see that out of the corner of my eye, but they're not. It's just like an abstract pattern. All right. The pile is getting smaller. <laughs> what is that? I don't even remember this piece. Okay. Next is this dress. It is by Raul, Raul. Um, it is a US 2 and I picked it up. I think it's one of those things where the comps in the store, like quickly looking at them looked a lot better than they actually are. Cause I think I can only get like, you know, 30 to 35 for it. But it is a very nice navy, dark, like a navy pleated dress. It is very, very pretty and very good condition. So I will be listing that. To do, what we got here? Oh, we got Fabletics. So, this is the Fabletics size large. Um, it has like this funnel top, and it's just kind of like a well, I mean, is it a little cropped in the front? It's kind of like a high low. So, Fabletics is that subscription um, brand. I mean, they're actually really expensive, <laughs> but I'd only pick it up if it's you know something a little more substantial. I don't really usually pick up the tank tops unless they're new with tags or larger sizes. I definitely don't pick them up unless they have the size, which this is a size large. Um, but a hoodie I would pick up, you know, some nicer leggings maybe, new with tags. You know, there's all these, like I said, exceptions. Okay. Oh, yes. I found Johnny Was. Found it in the store that I always, like, not always find Johnny Was, just that when I've ever found Johnny Was, it's been in this one particular Goodwill. So, found it again. Um, it is just the cotton kind of tunic dress with a little bit of embroidery. These won't go for as much as, you know, the rayon or silk that have like patterns all over. I think maybe 40, 45, maybe a little bit less for this. But, you know, it's always exciting to find Johnny Was. Or it is to me. <laughs> Ooh, these are dusty. Okay. What did I say? Anyway, I don't know. I got a message, but I can't read it. Um, so this is a pair of fry boots. Um, I found fry before, not very often. Um, I think this might be an older style. So it's kind of just like the riding boot style. Um, where's the symbol? There it is. The fry symbol right there. I don't remember the name of the brand. I mean the brand, the style, but Hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. They are a size, they are a size eight and a half. So these will be going up. What did I put I could make on these? I'm um, still probably 45, 55. So not too bad. Teddy, come here. Come see your fans. Come here. No? They're a little puppy. It's Teddy. It's Teddy. She's still around. Um, Usually I'm like, you know, I've, I, that have been where I've been sitting in my office and she can't get to me, so she's normally on the floor. But yes, if you watched a lot of my, especially my earlier videos, she's in and out all the time. So she is, of course, still here. Still my little fur baby. A little worried about how jealous she's gonna be when the actual baby gets here, but we'll see. Um, next piece is just a blazer. It's made for Jigsaw which is a European brand, like a luxury European brand. Um, I really like it. I just like the pattern. It's like, like a crochet kind of material. Um, I don't know if this will do that well based on comps. It probably will take a while to sell. But, you know, 25 to 35 for it. I did think it was really cute. Did I say a size? I know a size, I'm sure. size four and I'll have to see if that's a you know size eight. Oh, four on the other side. Ooh, I wonder if that's a US versus UK. Well, I'm assuming the eight is for US because usually UK is smaller sizing. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have a little blazer. Okay. Next is just this, um, Arix, Arix, something like that jacket. Um, just kind of like a lighter winter jacket. I have sold this brand before they have a lot of stuff to do with like pilots 
Um, I've sold a leather jacket for quite a bit of money because it was vintage. Um, won't be getting as much for this piece. Um, probably only like $30, but you know, I picked it up. Oh, right. So this next little bit, um, I got from a thrift store that is basically pennies. So I picked up stuff I wouldn't normally pick up, but I did pick up this um, little jean flared skirt and it is by Anthropology. And it's Anthropology by Anthropology, um, but it's a size 12, which is nice. And as you know, these tags indicate kind of a newer uh, piece. So I will be pick. So I did pick that up and size 12. I can't, you can't beat size 12 Anthropology. What are you doing? Um, I do think I only get about 25, 35 again for that though. Ooh, this is substantial. All right. I picked up this wool sweater. Um, it is kind of, it is by um, Aaron Crafts. So it's like an Irish wool sweater. Um, I, people tend to do really well with these. So I did, I picked it up based on that. It's 100% merino wool made in Ireland. It is still new with tags. Um, oh look, I paid $3 for it. <laughs> um, I can't get that off. So it still has the tags, but it is just this, um, blue knit um, sweater with kind of a mock top, mock neck top. So uh, I am expecting to get like 40 to 50 for that though. Okay. Another thing I picked up from that same store was this skirt. And I think this was a miss buy as well. Um, it's called Femme Jibois, Femme Je I can't say it. It's French. <laughs> um, it's right here. The size medium. Comps on this is not very good. I don't, but it is kind of like a, it has kind of like a vintagey 70s print, uh, but I probably only get like 15 to 20. All right. Next up is, I think, an anthropology piece. Yes. Um, oops, where's the tag? All right. It is Mave, but it is Mave by Anthropology, so a newer tag. And it's a size small, just this like printed, mixed print top. Well, it's not really mixed print. It's the same print, just going in different directions with lining. <laughs> um, but I should only probably get about 20, 25 for that. <sighs> Next is another anthropology piece. I found these all together. I would say they're by the same person, but this is a small and the other ones are like a larger size, but I don't know. Um, this is Mave again by Anthropology. Um, it is a size 14, so plus sizing for Anthropology, and it's just this blue circular, um, like <laughs> side button skirt. So you should get about 30, 35 for this. Um, I definitely picked it up because of the size. Um, this is a Harper skirt, Harper. I think can sometimes be sold by Anthropology, but it's sold at like Nordstrom. It's a size large. It is a pleather, I'm pretty sure. Not real leather. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is not real leather. It's not. It's rayon and PU. What that? I'm not sure. But it's a size large, so I did pick it up, and I could probably get about twenty dollars for this. The only thing I got at this thrift store was a, a lot lower cost of goods than most places. Um, so anyway, um, I also picked up these, which is a pair of silk pajamas, which are like these wine red. Um, probably won't get a ton for them, but they were a dollar. So I picked them up. They're hundred percent silk. Next I got this and this is actually a dollar, um, but it is Max Mara, but it's S Max Mara design for easy living. So I'm not really sure if that's like a diffusion or made for a certain brand. So I'm not really sure. It is a 100% silk, size 12. It is very pretty orange color. It's kind of like a shift dress. So I picked it up without really researching it. Um, I think I still still get do pretty well with that, 40 to 50, because it is 100% silk. Next, I picked up this St. John's piece. So funnily enough, I have had a couple of like newer St. John pieces, like St. John Couture, like made it within the last 10 years. 
and they don't do as well as these like vintage <laughs> um, pieces. And this is like just a pink, very kind of Jackie O style um, blazer. These do better for me than the brand new St. John pieces. Don't ask me why, but they do. Um, this is a size eight and I picked it up because it was relatively, because it was at that also very um, low price thrift store. So it is pink, we can turn that down. It doesn't have fabric content. So I, I have to look it up again to see how I, d I identify this to see if it's their Santana knit. I'm not sure if it is, but I'll look it up. Okay, last thing. First time finding this brand too. Um, it is Fly London. I've seen this um, on you know people's hauls on YouTube before, but it is first time finding it. Um, it was seven dollars. <laughs> um, there they are. I think they're a pretty small size, like a six. Yeah, they're a size six, but I think I should still do pretty well with these. What did I write down? I still broke 40 to 50. So yeah, pretty excited that I found that brand for the first time. All right, guys. So that is all the pieces in my haul. Like I said, I paid about $4 a piece for them. Um, so $141 total. And I'm expecting anywhere between $1,200 to $1,400 for all this stuff. So, you know, I might, I'll probably, you know, I could get around that much, a little less. Um, and, and really don't know how long it'll take me to sell some of these items. But that's what I'm hoping for at the end of the day. I'm pretty excited about a lot of these pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first video back. Um, I am going to be posting some videos I recorded um, before I went on my like hiatus. So some of them, so they're not even, I don't think I'm pregnant or I'm not aware I'm pregnant <laughs> in some of them. Um, so those will be coming out and you know, I just thought I'll go ahead and post them. One is a thread up unboxing, which is like my only time I've ever been able to get one of those designer boxes and shoe haul. I'm just gonna go ahead and post them. You know what? If you don't wanna see old videos, don't watch them. I still think they're relevant. Um, if there's anything that's not relevant, I'll put it in the comments. But anyway, guys, tell me what you all have been up to. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment down below to see, let me know how things are going for you sell wise. But yeah, I'm excited to be back. Um, it's going pretty well having started back only a couple weeks ago, doing about five to $700 a week. Uh, that's gross, not net. Um, but yeah, I'm excited getting that thrill of the sales back and hope to put out more content for you guys. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.